Straight from the heart of Texas, it's the Lauren Galley Show. Real talk, real issues, real teams and experts discuss teen pressures in today's media-centric society. Actress, model, and president of Girls Above Society, here's your host, Lauren Galley. Hey everybody and welcome to the Lauren Galley Show on CETV. Our guest today is the amazing Caitlin Kay. She's only 16 and she's already started a really successful singing career. But my favorite thing about her is not only is she an incredible singer, but she's using her talents for a really good cause. So we're going to be talking about that a lot today. So who do you think you are? Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you for letting me be here. Of course. Now to start things off, tell everybody a little bit about how you started singing. Was it kind of like you, from birth you've always just been a singer or did it take you a while to figure that out? I started singing when I was seven years old. My grandma bought me vocal lessons and at one of my recitals the Houston Chronicle was there. And then after that everything just started going from there and I got opportunities and rehearsed more and more and eventually this became what I love to do. That's incredible. You're so lucky to have found, I always call it like your sparkle, like that thing that you love at such a young age. Now what would you say that your genre of music is? Like if you had to pick an artist that sounds like you, who would that be? Um, my genre is kind of unique because I don't think it fits either into the pop category or the rock category. But if I could relate it to someone, I'd say either Pink or Avril Lavigne. And those are good people to compare yourself to, for sure. Now, growing up, you know, you have this talent, and obviously you're putting yourself out there throughout school with your friends, you know. People know that you sing, right? Um, has that been, have you ever gotten bullied for that or felt a little self-conscious saying, oh, I sing, listen to my music? It was hard in elementary school when I just started, and I didn't know how to present myself and it was scary because people thought differently of me. So I only told my close friends and only invited them to shows. And I remember fifth grade year for student council president, my speech was me singing the national anthem. And it was really scary but it was kind of a relief because I was able to show everyone my talent. It got a little bit rougher in middle school because I didn't know how to blossom yet because I was still really scared and you know you're going to a new school with a bunch more people and it was difficult for me but I had a lot of friend and family support which helped me through and now in high school I'm able to express myself so much more after writing Who Do You Think You Are? Yeah and I think it's really important to have that support system there because any time that especially as a teenager you know girls are so mean I always say that but it can be so true so when you're putting yourself out there, like look at my talents, even though you're obviously incredibly talented, it's almost like there's gonna be someone with something negative to say. And you have to have that basis to say, don't listen to them, you're amazing. Cause it's hard to tell yourself that all the time, right? Yeah, I mean, it's been difficult, especially on like YouTube and even Facebook and Twitter. People can say anything over a screen and mm -hmm. they don't have to really see the consequences of it. But it can really affect people and I know, especially when I was younger, like cons like that would really hurt me. But, you know, growing up and just telling myself, you know, don't listen to what other people say, mm -hmm. you're better than that. I think it's really helped uplift me and I've been able to go so much further believing in myself than thinking I wasn't good enough. Oh, definitely. And the video you created for Who Do You Think You Are, tell everyone a little bit about that for those who haven't seen it. Well, our school did a lip dub and we use my song, Who Do You Think You Are, and it has a message to stop bullying and, you know, be yourself no matter what. And it was all student-led, and we had over, I think, a thousand students participate. And it was just a really awesome experience. We were able to bring together the whole school and just show everyone that we're not going to put up with it. I absolutely love that you did that. And that takes a lot of confidence to do that, to say not only is this my song that I'm putting out there, but I'm also gonna use it for something good. And I feel like more people who have talents such as singing need to do that. 
because in the music industry, you know, a lot of it is inappropriate songs. Mm -hmm. And most people who can sing aren't using it for a good cause. It's just whatever's gonna sell on the radio. And how do you feel about that? I mean, are, are you seem like one of those people who's like, this is what I'm gonna sing no matter what, right? I feel like no matter what, you have to be true to yourself, whether it's with singing, dancing, acting, no matter what you do, you have to do what makes you happy and what you're passionate about. But at the same time, you can use it for a good cause, like music. There's so many artists out there who can spread such a wonderful message, but they talk about like drugs and partying. Mm -hmm. And you know, to put that into kids' heads and to people's heads who are listening to their stuff or watching them perform, it's just, what do you want to show your fans and what do you want to show the people who see you? Like I would love, I like being a role model to little kids mm -hmm. who like tell me that I've inspired them or that I've helped them. And I feel like that's so much more important than having a number one hit on iTunes or having someone tell you, oh, I like to party to this song. Like, I think it's more important to have fans who know you care than fans who can't even tell what you like represent. Exactly, and it does mean a lot when someone comes to you and says, like, you changed my life or even you inspired me in the small way to stop bullying or you gave me confidence. You know, when girls tell me that, it's like life changing. It's like, this is why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's incredible that you've realized that and you have something you're passionate about and you're kind of combining those two things. And with the video that you made, has the response been the same as with your other music that you've inspired a lot of people? I can only imagine. I mean, you would think that people would be really supportive and be like, wow, you guys are doing such a great thing, but people still really put you down mm -hmm. and especially our school because they said well every high school is the same there's always bullying and we are really trying to make a difference and say well we're not like that we mm -hmm. want to be the school that changes and so when people say they don't care it's not important they're just doing this for publicity it's really hard because it is something that we're all strongly about especially me because I had to experience it, my brothers had to experience it, my friends had to experience it, and I feel like it is such an important topic. And to people put us down for trying to make a difference is confusing, but then you also look at all the positive comments and all the people that right. say, wow, you guys are awesome, you made a difference, like you've inspired our school, mm -hmm. or my class, or my teacher, or me, you know, I feel like that's such a bigger impact that you need to focus on the positives instead of the negatives. You definitely do. I feel like there's always people who will say negative things to you. Mm -hmm. But if someone goes out of their way to say something positive, then they truly mean that. And that's what you really need to keep in mind. And what would be your advice to girls who maybe want to be a singer or, or feel strongly about anti-bullying and want to make a video about it, but don't know how to begin or don't have the confidence to or they're worried about being made fun of? I feel like a lot of it has to do with support, whether it's from your family or your friends, you know, just having someone who you can always go to when you're having a problem was a big thing for me. And always just believe in yourself, no matter what it's with. And do what makes you happy and just go for it. Because there's gonna be so many people in life who tell you you can't do it, you're not good enough. But just listen to that one person that's telling you, I'm here, I'm there for you, and you can do it. And I feel like that's so important to do it no matter what anyone else is going to say. And it's going to be scary and it's going to be hard right. and people are still going to tell you you can't. But you just have to follow your dreams and do what really makes you happy. What I always say is that when someone says something negative, instead of going, oh, what did I do wrong? Or, oh, there's something wrong with me. I'm like, what's wrong with them? Why are they going out of their way to put me down? Mm -hmm. So that's another way of looking at it too, is like, who goes out of their way to make someone else feel bad? You know, obviously you're not a good person and just, I don't have time for you. And that's kind of what you have to do when you have any talent, I feel like, whether it's acting, singing, you know, you have to put yourself out there. And you're gonna get, I mean, even celebrities get negative things. Yeah, times. I mean, even celebrities who, like do good things and donate to charities and do good things and stuff like that, you know, they still get ridiculed if they make mm -hmm. one mistake. And not saying like, I've never made mistakes. I mean, everyone does. And you know, you just have to learn from the things that you've learned and like take into account what people are saying. But you know, trust your like morals and trust what you believe mm -hmm. in and like do what you really think is right. Because I could have given up at any point and I just felt like, you know, there's a reason why I'm doing this and there's a reason why I'm getting a lot of hate and a lot of like just painful remarks and I know people say words don't hurt but especially for girls they can and you know you just have to learn to 
you know, have a supportive group that you can talk to because it's hard to do anything alone and especially when you're going through something. And I feel like that's why it's really important to talk to somebody. And like, especially if you're getting hate for doing something good. Right. Because no one deserves to feel not good enough. Definitely not. And I love what you say, you have to get that support system. And not everyone has that built in, like a family. Maybe your family's not that supportive of you, but find those friends in school and those people who are really there for you for the right reasons. You know, not just for popularity, but they really care about you. And I'm sure that when you made your video, you had to find those people to help you because that video was really cool. And I mean, you're very talented, but you have to get help with stuff like that. You can't just, okay, I'm gonna do this whole video by myself. You of had course. so many other students in it. It was all, so many people coming together. It wasn't just one person's effort. It was just a really good experience that we all came together and did it. Not just one person got the glory. Like, mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what's really important because so many people came together. And one thing is it wasn't mandatory at our school. Right. So there was people who didn't come or didn't show up or thought this is going to be lame or stupid. And then they ended up regretting it because it was mm -hmm. such an amazing experience. Yeah, that is really cool. And how long did it take to plan that video? It took several months to plan, but when the day came, we still were like, oh my gosh, are we ready? I don't know if we can do this. And it only took like 30 minutes after school, wow. and the next day we posted it online, and we got TV interviews, radio interviews, and we got like newspaper, and it was just incredible the way it like affected the community and affected so many people. Definitely it is. And has that inspired anyone else to make their own videos? Um, definitely. There's been tons of people who have made lip dubs and people around the world who have taken my song or the concept of our video and like taught it. I know a teacher in Berlin, Germany who took my song and translated it into German and taught it as a That's lesson so cool. to her students. And I just thought that was really incredible. It is because you're expanding worldwide and in a way the fact that you're supporting such a good cause is helping your music as well when that wasn't even the intention, you know? Yes. So it's almost like good karma is happening there. Yeah, like a lot of people would say that I'm just doing it to make money, but we donated a lot of the money from iTunes and we're giving away mm -hmm. the song free because the real reason we're doing this is to get the message out. And I feel like it is so important that whether my school gets the fame and the glory or whether I get the fame or whether you know, like, my principal gets the glory from the school district. You know, we're not doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for everyone. So I feel like that's important. It really is, and the fact that you have so much confidence to put yourself out there and you don't really care what people think, and to go on stage in front of people and sing, I know is like terrifying to so many girls. They're thinking, oh, I like to sing, but I would never sing in front of people. So do you still get nervous or do you have like a little routine you do before to kind of ease your nerves at all? I think I get more nervous in front of people I know because I'm like, they know yeah. me, they're gonna, if I screw up, they're gonna judge me. And mm -hmm. to be honest, I'd rather sing in front of a crowd of thousands of people than a crowd of one, like my mom. <laughs> I always want to do the best and like make my family proud and make my friends proud. So I feel like that puts a lot of pressure on me. but. I know that since they're always going to be there for me, it shouldn't be, but that's like right. my biggest thing. And nobody's perfect, and I think that's important to understand. I feel like in society, it's like you can't mess up on anything, you always have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like that's not always going to happen, but you can always improve, and I feel like that's the positive side of it. It's yeah. like figure out what you didn't like about it, and the next time you'll do that better. And people will go, whoa, she got so much better, and that's a great thing. Yeah. I think it's just really important to have self-confidence. And I'm not gonna act like I was always like that. It's really something right. I had to learn and eventually get there because it's been really hard. And I just finished my junior year and that's probably the one year that I was able to like really be myself and really feel confident. And I think it's so important, even if you're not going out there and you're singing or if you're not going out there and acting or if you're not going out there to be a speaker or anything, just being yourself and being confident in yourself is just a really important quality to have. It is. Do you think that the confidence you've gained recently has improved your life in other ways besides your singing, just your daily life at all? I feel like it's improved me, especially academically, which sounds strange, but I feel like it's made me seem more respectable to my teachers and make me strive to go and do like the best I can and with my relationships with people you know like mm -hmm. 
I'm not gonna settle for someone who can't accept me. Right. Because I want to be myself, and so, you know, I've lost friends, I've gained friends, I've, you know, and it's difficult, especially going through such like changing, especially in middle school and high school, you change so much. Right, you really do. And to just own who you are, I feel like is really important. It is important, and if I picture like a school, like a high school, where all the girls are just owning who they are and they don't care what anyone thinks. It's just such a positive environment you have in mind. But unfortunately, like, I haven't seen a high school yet like that, but videos like yours are going to get to that point because other schools will see it. And I hope that people watching are thinking, oh, like, inspired, like, I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, and I feel like even if we only made a difference to one person, Mm -hmm. But if that one person goes and tells three people and it makes a difference to right. them and then, you know, it just eventually gets down the line and people hear about it or people are changed and it can inspire so many people with just one voice. So I feel like that's really important. It really can. Now, where can everybody get a copy of your music? You can go to my website, CaitlinK.com, K-A-I-T-L-Y-N-K.com and there's a free download of Who Do You Think You Are? And also you can go onto iTunes and search Caitlin K and there's Who Do You Think You Are and a lot of other inspiring music. And make sure you check me out on Twitter and follow me at Caitlin K Music and on Facebook. And I'll make sure to respond to any questions or anything like that. I love talking to people and meeting fans. And I just really hope you go listen to it and you make a change. Now I know you mentioned a little bit about social media and how it's easier for girls or guys to kind of hide behind their computer screens or their cell phones because they don't have to see your reaction and they yeah. can feel a lot stronger. Have you ever had anyone maybe like send you messages that weren't so nice that were like just directed towards you like not your music but like you as a person? Um, I know when I had a Facebook we would have this thing called a truth box and you can anonymously, anonymously post things in there and people, I mean, your best friend would leave something like, you're awesome, love your best friend. And you'd be like, oh, that's so nice. And then the other 85% would be people saying rude things and mean things to just like aggravate you. And you couldn't even tell who it was. Right. And I know that really aggravated me because I'm like, who are these people? And like, they say they're my friends and then they go post stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And I know, especially when Facebook really got popular, people would post things about you or right. message you and just say rude things and I know that I've had that a lot because it's so much easier to say something behind someone's back or mm -hmm. over a computer screen or over especially text messaging to yes. you. It's like so people are so like courageous when it comes yeah. to just typing something but when it comes saying it face to face it's like you become scared. They become a coward. Yeah so I feel like it is really bad with cyberbullying and I feel like that is another like topic of bullying that mm -hmm. needs to like stop because it's so easy to it like is. just say oh well I don't like that girl's top and then I mean and it's, like things like that it's silly and it it's really dumb is. but you can it can really affect a person and you don't know what they might be going through like they might be having a really hard time and just that one little thing can affect them in such a big way. Right, and you don't want to be responsible for someone else's depression or, I mean, a lot of girls now are even hurting themselves because people say things. And you might not take what you're saying seriously or think it's funny, but the other person probably doesn't. You have to put yourself in the other person's shoes. And what advice would you give to any girls who are receiving maybe mean messages and they haven't done anything wrong? I feel like you, I, I mean, it's easy to say don't let it get to you, but the thing is, it is hard and, you know, talking to someone whether it's your school counselor or your mom or your friend or your aunt I mean anyone I, I mean this is gonna sound silly but I can talk to my dogs because I know they won't say anything <laughs> right and, and I mean it sounds silly but just openly saying something mm -hmm. and just having someone listen is such an important thing to have and keeping it bottled up inside can create so many problems like I had a friend who what had bulimia and she couldn't take all the hate that she was getting because she had to quit sports because of an injury mm -hmm. and so she gained weight and so people would call her fat behind her back and say right. you know you shouldn't wear that tight of clothes and 
it would really get to her and she got really, really sick. And I just feel like, you know, to have someone's words affect you so much to where it's physically hurting you, it's just awful. And like, after she opened up and like talked about it, she was able to recover and now she's healthy and still the beautiful girl that she was and is. And I feel like it's so important just talk about it. And it's so, don't keep it bottled up because that's what I did until I, created this song and I was able to talk about it. Yeah, and it's really great that your friend was able to recover because a lot of people, I mean, you would never know that they're sick if they don't tell you or you don't see them throw up. Then you might it might not be even the girl that you least expect. And that's why I feel like everyone needs to watch what they say. Even if you're not saying to the person, to your friend, because it's going to get back to that person. And they might already be having a really hard time. So just, if you think something negative about someone, even if you just really don't like her, you don't have to tell her. You know, just don't talk to her. That's my big thing. It's like, you don't have to be best friends with everyone. But don't walk up and say everything that you think about her either. Yeah, like, your parents always say, or at least my parents always told me, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say right. anything at all. Awesome, thank you so much. And I really hope that everyone watching is inspired by this, because I know I'm inspired by her. What she's done is amazing, and it takes a lot of confidence to stand up and say, everybody, come help me out with this video. I'm gonna make a change in the world. And that's what she's done. So if every high school did that, just imagine how amazing our society would be. So thank you so much for talking with me, and thank you, everybody. Thank you.